Hi, my name is Claire Miller and I am currently doing my PhD in Computational Biology here at the University of Melbourne. So my background was in engineering, so I studied computational and mechanical engineering at the University of Adelaide. Um, so that took me four years with uh, honours at the end of it. Um, at the end of my degree, I moved to Melbourne to work at CSIRO um, in their, what is now called the Data61 division, so that's more in the applied mathematics area. And then about three years into this, I decided that I wanted to come back to university and do my PhD. And that's what led me here. So computational biology is the application of mathematical methodologies to biological applications. Um, so this could be either someone who's coming from a mathematical background like myself, who is interested in using um, my mathematical training to help understand biological systems, or this could be someone who has done biology in their undergraduate and is interested in understanding a little bit more some of the mathematical methods to help analyze the experimental data that they've collected. Um, computational biology is very important, uh, particularly right now when we're coming into an age where we have a lot of ways to collect data from experiments and we need to come up with novel ways to analyze them because their systems are becoming uh, significantly more complex than we originally knew about uh, decades ago. Uh, so that's kind of one area. The other way that um, computational biology is important is that we have a lot of information about the biology coming from kind of different separate sources and we need to find a way to combine all this information and understand how the system works as a whole and kind of mathematics and mathematical methodologies are, uh, can help us to do that. So I am interested in computational biology because I've kind of always had a bit of an interest in biology. I considered it uh, doing it as my undergraduate degree, but then I decided I was much better at mathematics. Um, so this was a good opportunity for me to combine those. Uh, my particular interest is um, what's called multicellular systems. So kind of understanding how cells interact with each other um, and how the changes in one cell can affect all of the cells around it in the tissue. And then, you know, if you move up and up and up, you go from just a single cell behavior to just like a full organ system, which is really interesting. What I really like about working at the University of Melbourne is the really exciting research that happens all around me every day. Um, I'm constantly meeting people who are doing really exciting things with biological data, or with biological applications that I would never have even realized was possible. I hope this has been helpful to you and I'm sure that for some of you out there this will be a really exciting career path for you and best of luck with your future studies.